everyone. Welcome to another episode of Doodling Through Education. For my CC students, this is Cycle 3, Week 21 History. For everybody else, that just means that we are talking about the Apollo mission and America's effort to send man to the moon. Before we get started, I wanted to remind you to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And if you would like to support the channel, I put a link in the description. It's through a website called Buy Me a Coffee. Without further ado, let's start doodling. In 1961, the effort for America to send astronauts to the moon ramped up and this was spurred on mainly by President Kennedy when he came before Congress on May 25th, 1961 and said, I believe this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to Earth. At the time of this speech, the United States was actually behind the Soviet Union in their space developments. But this speech encouraged NASA to reach this goal. Five years later, in 1966, NASA conducted the first unmanned Apollo mission to test the vehicle that would bring man to the moon. Unfortunately, on January 27, 1967, a tragedy happened at Kennedy Space Center in Cape Canaveral, Florida. A fire broke out during a launch pad test with men inside of the spacecraft. Three astronauts were killed in this fire. This was a major setback for NASA, but they continued on and in October of 1968, Apollo 7, which was the first manned Apollo mission, orbited Earth and then successfully tested many of the systems needed to go to the moon. In December of this year, Apollo 8 took three astronauts as far as the dark side of the moon and back. And then in March of 1969, Apollo 9 tested the specific lunar module for the first time while it was orbiting Earth. And on July 16th, the world watched as Apollo 11 took off from Kennedy Space Center. On board Apollo 11 were the astronauts Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins. The trip took about 76 hours to travel 240,000 miles. And Apollo 11 entered into a lunar orbit on July 19th. The very next day on July 20th at 1.46 p.m., Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin separated from the command module in the lunar module. And two hours later, it began its descent down toward the moon's surface. Later on that afternoon, the craft touched down on the moon. The name of this lunar module was the Eagle. And as soon as it touched down, Armstrong radioed back to mission control and said, the Eagle has landed. At 10.39 p.m., five hours after that message, Armstrong opened the hatch of the lunar module. He walked down the ladder as he was filmed by a camera where hundreds of millions watched him take his first step onto the moon and he spoke which would later become his famous quote where he said that's one small step for a man one giant leap for mankind buzz aldrin also joined him on the moon's surface about 20 minutes later and they took pictures of the moon as well as planting a united states flag Several hours after that, on July 21st, both astronauts came back onto the lunar module and they got to sleep that night on the surface of the moon. Could you imagine having a sleepover on the surface of the moon? The afternoon of July 21st, the lunar module named the Eagle began its journey back to the command module. 
they left several items on the moon, but one that is interesting was a plaque that read, here men from the planet Earth first set foot on the moon, July 1969 AD. We came in peace for all mankind. Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin rejoined Collins back in the command module and then began their journey home. They arrived back safely and splashed down in the Pacific Ocean. After Apollo 11, there were five more successful lunar landing missions. Overall, this was a monumental moment, not only for United States history, but for the world and mankind, that we were able to set foot on the moon. And that's all we have for today. Your homework this week is I want you to study more about the Apollo program. I want you to look at some of maybe the different Apollo missions, the ones getting ready for Apollo 11, as well as the ones after Apollo 11. I also would like you to maybe research, research some of the other things that were left on the moon by Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin. And on that note, remember to be kind, follow God's will, and take care. Bye.